Imagine you are not home but someone steps into your room. What if you could instantly get a message on your phone from your own DIY security device? In this video we are building a low cost compact motion detection system that alerts you via Telegram whenever someone moves in your room all with simple components. Let's dive into it. But before we dive into today's build a big thanks to JLC MC for sponsoring this video. If you have heard of JLC PCB then you already know the kind of quality this brand delivers. Well, JLC MC is their mechanical component division offering the same trusted precision and service. They have got everything from linear motion parts, transmission components, mechanical parts, positioning parts, pneumatic parts, sensors, shock absorbing materials, aluminum extrusion, linear rails, guide shafts, timing belts, couplers and even industrial grade enclosures all at extremely competitive price. Whether you are a DIY enthusiast, a robotics student or an industry professional, JLC MC has a massive selection of components to support your next big idea. One cool thing, their aluminum enclosures start at just $0.5 and they ship globally. And the best part, when you sign up as a new user, you instantly get $70 worth of coupons to use on your order. That's a huge help when you prototyping or sourcing parts for a new project. Check them out at jlcmc.com. The link is given in the description below. Let's get building. Here's what we need. An ESP8266 node MCU board for Wi-Fi connectivity. A PIR motion sensor to detect movement. A buzzer for local alert. And a few jumper wires. Here how it works. When motion is detected by the PIR sensor, it sends a signal to the node MCU board. The buzzer rings immediately as a local alert and the node MCU which is connected to Wi-Fi sends a real-time message to your telegram account. Now let's see the wiring and assembly. Wiring is super simple. The PIR sensor out pin goes to D5 on the node MCU board. VCC of the PIR sensor to 3.3 volt pin of the node MCU board and ground of the PIR sensor to ground of the node MCU board. For the buzzer, connect the positive to D2 of the node MCU board and negative to ground of the node MCU board. Once the wiring is done, connect the node MCU board to your computer. Now let's see the coding part. We are using Arduino IDE to program the ESP8266 node MCU board. In the Arduino IDE, first we have to install the Telegram bot library. For that, go to Tools, Manage Libraries, then search for Universal Telegram bot and install this library. Now in the code we first have to include all the necessary libraries then create constants to store your Wi-Fi name, Wi-Fi password, Telegram bot token and Telegram user ID. But wait, what is Telegram bot token and Telegram user ID and where to get it? Let's cover this first. Actually we have to create a Telegram bot which will handle the alert messages and send it to our telegram account. Bot token is a unique ID of the bot which we will use to control the bot. And telegram user ID is a unique ID of our telegram account which will be used by the bot to send message to our telegram account. Now to create a telegram bot, first open the telegram app and search for bot father. This will help to create a bot. Now click start and then type forward slash new bot to create a new bot. This will ask to give the new bot a name. Choose any name you like. 
I will choose alarm bot. Next it will ask to choose a username for the bot which must be unique and ends with the word bot. Let's try alarm123 bot. Ok this username is already taken. Let's try with alarm8652 bot. After creating the new bot it will give you its unique token. You have to type this unique token into your code. Now let's see how to get the unique user id. For that search for id bot and click this user info id bot and then click start. You will get your unique id. Now put this into your code. Now rest of the code will be same for everyone so just copy it. Its link is given in the video description. If you have any query regarding the code then you can ask in the comment section. I will definitely help you out. Now select the board as node mcu 1.0. Then select the correct port and click the upload button to upload the code. Now the moment of truth. Let it connect itself to the Wi-Fi network and see it in action. Let's check. It works perfectly. Real time alerts, no false alarms and fully portable. But doesn't look professional. So now let's design a 3D printed enclosure and print it to give it a professional look. Print looks great. Now let's put everything inside the enclosure. And there you have it, your very own motion detector with telegram alerts. This is perfect for home security, DIY smart projects or even for monitoring pet movement. If you found this useful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Yetigo Tech for more awesome electronics projects. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, meet you in the next video.